Well, I, I don't know how much. Do you ever pay attention to the sort of midweek games and, and what happens with the other teams around you in the table? Certainly, of course, <laughs> of course. But yeah, when you're playing, certainly catch up as 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 we are. And um, you know, let's let's get it right. It's pleasing that we're even talking about playoffs with with six games to go. We was uh, a long shot before Saturday. Then was an even longer, longer shot after Saturday. But now we come a long shot again. So still, for me, I think if you you know. It's a big, big ass, but if you can win five out of six or six out of six, you certainly there's a great chance of the playoffs. So we'll uh, we'll just keep going. We'll take Saturday's game though. For me, it's, uh, uh, I think the, things will be a lot clearer after the Saturday and the midweek games come uh, come the next next few days. Because at this stage of the season, I mean, football is a strange game anyway. But you do get some funny results at this stage of the season with teams at the bottom really scrapping and, and some sides perhaps have a bit less to play for. You know, you, know, you say funny results, but I've, I've said it all along. The, the division's very, very competitive, mm. and the games are won on fine lines a lot of the time. Uh, you can see that even by our game against Coventry, where we've not as played as well as we would have liked to have played, but we still had better chances. You know they've had one where the lad's gone through and, and missed, but perhaps should score. And then second half they've they've scored probably with a uh, with their only attempt. Byron Moore should have scored for ourselves. They cleared one off the line. Billy Bowden's gone through, and uh, you know all he's got a great chance at the end there. So if you you look at the the game in a whole, it's certainly a game that we should have got something out of, but we didn't. And I think your consistent teams in the division do that. Uh, your top six teams certainly do that. When the the game's not an entertaining game, the pitch is rubbish, and all of them bits and pieces, that's when you've got to find a way. And I don't believe we've done that enough, certainly away from home this season. So certainly, always areas to improve on, and and certainly this season. Although I can, I feel a little bit hard done by with some of the away results, if I'm honest. But we are where we are as it stands now and, and still with an outside chance of the playoffs. And, and does, does luck play its part early in the season? Because if you get on a bit of a roll, then players can develop on that. And Whereas if, you, if you're stuttering and stopping and starting a bit, it's, it's tricky. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to go down the phrase of luck, but uh, people can make their own minds up. Everybody's, everyone has an opinion of, of the beautiful game, doesn't they? And, and how it should be played and who should play and what they want to do and this is what I want to do it. I've got... You know, everyone's a coach in football, which is great. That's why we all love the game. When I'm watching a game on the telly, I think the same way. But uh, you know, if I, if you take Ryan Sweeney, Jake Clark, Salter, and Peter Hartley, three left foot centre halves that I've got at the club, and take them out of the team, people can make their own mind up whether that had made a difference Saturday on a fine line game. Yeah. You know, at me as a manager, I'm going to say yes, it does. But it's, uh, everyone will look that as an excuse, and it is an excuse. But the fine lines, what I keep touching about, have won, and uh, certainly with us not being at our best on on Saturday, but still should have got something out of the game. Having watched it, watched it back, um, but like I say, we move on. We've uh, we're still a long shot for the playoffs, yeah. and obviously very much still focused on on what's going on this season. What kind of work's going on in the background for for keeping the players you want to keep around? I know obviously you've, you've signed some deals. Listen, for, for, it's an interesting question. It's a very very good question. We. Uh, there will be no let up in myself moving this club forward of where we're going. There's a lot of work going off behind the scenes. I'm talking reviews and where we're at, coaching methods, uh, key areas of the football club. And what, and what I will say is I, I'll certainly you know, be leaving this club when I eventually do leave, and that's hopefully not going to be for a long time. We'll be in a very, very good place on and off the pitch. And that's what's going off in the background, and you know, short term, obviously, players and looking at where we're going to go next year. That started quite a few weeks ago, mm. months ago, to be honest with you. And it's just all areas of the football pitch that uh, we, we're looking around the football football side of things through the juniors, through the academies, through to the first team that are, that have. Uh, we're obviously working on massively in the background. Yeah. So obviously with the players, without I'm sure you won't be giving us names, but are you confident of keeping hold of the ones you would like to here at the moment? Oh, listen, who knows? Listen, everybody's everybody's for sale, isn't it? Unless you like Man United, Chelsea, Arsenal, or the top clubs. The uh, <laughs> is anybody can not turn down a big money move. So and and it's not just the the, the money moves. It's it's what the, the player's mindset, isn't it? If a player comes, if a player ever comes and knocks on my door and says he wants to leave, I will get the best price and get him out of the club. I say because you're just flogging a dead horse. You're never going to get the best out of him. You never, you know, his mindset's gone. So 
you know, until that hits the value. As it stands, I've got a, a an ambitious group that, that want to keep moving forward and plans are in place to 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 make sure that uh, we keep doing that. And, and you talk about the other stuff, that whether it's from the academy football or the, the work that you're doing on the training ground. Can you give us any sort of insight into the kind of things you're looking at doing there? Is it, is it going to be a big change over the summer? Uh, listen, uh, it's, everything's subject to change. Uh, and, and the way we go, we... We've come a hell of a long way in in uh, the three years I've, I've been in charge, and there's been a lot of success in that period. But you cannot stand still. I don't want to talk about the past. I really, really don't. You know, come come the summer, you know, for me it's about the future and what we do in the future. And what I'm trying to put into place is this club for a long time has been ragass rovers, isn't it? it? Really has. Let's be honest. Was it five promotions since 1883 since we came over? So we've had a couple. So what what there is in the determination is is we're not happy to be a League One team. We want to be a Championship club, and don't get me wrong, we're still a million miles away from that. But the infrastructures of around that are trying to be put in place on and off the pitch. So for me, that's 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 always going to be the focus and the, and the drive, and we won't be we won't be looking to stand still. That's for sure. So everything's going to be, I guess, more professional. Is that way of putting it? Well, listen, everything needs to be. Any club up and down the country needs to keep improving. Uh, everything's getting analysed all the time by myself and, uh, and making sure the structure's right and a few tweaks here, there, and there. But it's got to be that that, Im that improvement that, that keeps going. Staff are under pressure from myself to perform. Uh, academy's going to be under pressure to perform. Everybody's going to be be. Uh, Having to perform and, and doing what I want, uh, you know, I'm a great believer in, in in what I do and what and where we can get it right. And there's still plenty of work. I said I touched on it after the game against the Coventry. There's plenty of work to do at this football club. We are nowhere near the capabilities of being a Championship club as it stands at the minute. But we 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 certainly hopefully will be by the time, you know, long before I drop dead or leave the club that we we're getting in the right right channel. And the club, I know people have been to see um, different training grounds, looking at the, your training ground, trying to do those kind of things. Is that something that you do? Do you look at what other managers do and how other bigger, more professional clubs do their work? Well, that's interesting. Uh, I, was the, I was on my pro licence the last few days and you get to, inter uh, to meet interesting people. I don't really want to go into too much because it's pretty confidential what we, what we did do. Uh, but uh, for me, you're always... I'm a... What, what can I say? I'm... I'm an inventive manager, but I also have strong beliefs in the way I do things as well. So it's about getting a little bit of both right, and, and I'm certainly never proud, too proud to to not want to progress myself. It's, I'm nowhere near the finished article, and you know I'm, I want to achieve great things in the game and and, uh, and and continue to to progress and to learn. And one thing I will tell you is this game swallows you up if you're not if you're not willing to change certain things. You look at sports science now in the game. Everybody laughs it off. You know, I can't tell it. It's unbelievable now the fit players are. People go 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, we did it 10, 15 years ago. Listen, you don't get with the times. You're swallowed up. You're gone. This club's been swallowed up for whatever reason. You know, listen, the, the, everything that's been in the club for the last three years has improved without a shadow of doubt. And that's because I've been driving it and we've been driving it. My staff been driving it forward to lose the Ragos Rovers tag that people want to associate with us previously. And there's uh, there's a lot of determination from myself to to make sure that keep happens and the, and the club moves forward. Okay, so let's talk about this weekend and, and Shrewsbury. A frustrating afternoon up there. Is that going to be in the back of anybody's mind come Saturday? No, because it's a different game, isn't it? It's it's at home. I don't think you you you, you need to to look back at that Pacific game. What a Shrewsbury! Another team fighting for their lives. Another team that's working hard to stay in the league. Another manager that's gone in that's turned it round, done quite well, Hursty, because there were there was looked like no hope until he came in to take over. So it's a, it's a it's another another game that's going to give us other problems, 